all right so so far we have our contacts but we don't have settings so i think we should start with our settings so that we can actually change our profile image and um, some of these settings if we want to do so okay so we can add different avatars for different users that way when we are dealing with the messages it will look proper okay so when i click on settings here of course settings go here is what i get but uh, let's add some more meat to this section so the settings we want to change of course um the username the email and uh, the gender and the password right so what we are going to do here is um Actually, if you notice, uh, those things are exactly what are on the sign up page. So if I log out here for a second and go to sign up, you see that uh, when you're signing up, these are the details you enter and they are probably the things you want to be changing when you are dealing with the uh, settings. So except the only thing missing is the image. So let's copy exactly what's here and uh, load it in our settings area so let's log in so that we can see what we are actually doing righty then so let me go to the signup.php and simply uh let me open it in my text editor all right and okay so there's pretty uh, some good stuff here so we already have this part that actually collects the data which is awesome so send data and the result okay so we will need most of this stuff so what I will do is simply select everything and uh, copy now we won't need the head tags here and the titles so maybe I shouldn't copy everything, just uh, select what I need. Up to script, and it turns out it's almost everything. So I will have to delete some of this here. Okay, so now that I've copied that, I will go to my includes folder and that's settings. This is what I have in settings. Now, if you remember correctly, I have to return this data uh, using what's here. Hmm. Actually, there's something I forgot in the sign up uh, includes part, which I will fix uh, shortly. This die part here, I think I didn't fix it in the other one. But anyway, what we have to do is get all that data and submit it into the my data section. And then because that's where we have to send it back. Okay, so let me delete that we're not going to be needing that so it's a good thing we have single quotes here because if you notice everything here is html it has double quotes so we will be needing the single quotes here so let me uh, delete that and uh, paste a whole lot of data there we go okay so what we are essentially doing is all this that I've pasted here is uh, being uh, added to data like so. So if we go back here and I click on settings, I'm simply going to get that kind of thing now, which is great. But as you can see, there are a lot of things we don't need. So let's go in here and actually delete some stuff. So first of all, we won't be need needing the font faces out we won't need to redefine the wrapper so out we will need the form the inputs uh, let's leave all that in there we won't need anything for the header and we won't need uh, we might need to submit some errors of course and we don't need the body we don't need the wrapper okay first of all let me delete the body and html closing tags here 
now on this point i want to be able to delete the actual opening and closing at the same time so this one is opening here and closing over there so i'll delete the closing delete the opening header starts here and is delete, uh, up to here delete and uh, this is for the errors let me put error there so i can know and form eh, i think everything else is good so let's refresh again do settings much better okay so now down here of course we we cannot say sign up and down here we cannot say did you already have an account so let's uh, fix that so already have an account here shall be removed and what's the second part i'm confused here sign up okay that's the one right here so instead we're going to say save so this is how we settings there we go okay so somehow the width here isn't uh doing so well and then let's uh, move everything over to let's say my form where is this uh-huh so right on form here i want to do a text align to the left left like so text align left let's see that in action okay everything is back here and then let's uh, reduce the width of these things so the password the button everything here width let's hard code this to pixels let's say what 200 pixels so here's the button right here let's do exactly the same thing 200 pixels okay eh, this will still do but uh, this one isn't doing so well that's because these guys have a padding so let me just add that padding over here as well so that we are on the same page refresh check it out and it didn't seem to solve anything so why okay let's try to 20 okay that almost solves it i think okay save i think uh it would be nice to say save uh, settings like so okay so here we have it and i want an image over here so that i can edit this image here so what i will do is come uh, this is the form right here hmm, how do i do it okay i'm going to add a div over here to cover everything so copy that and put the closing div down here and then what I want with this is to create a style where I say display flex. So let's flex. And then I'm going to put the image now here. So I'm going to say IMG source is equal to and then uh, close it. And for the image now i'm going to get whatever image is um, here so hmm. okay so the image is going to come from the database okay so because we're going to read from the database to get the data that is here so for now what i will do is uh, simply put um a placeholder where is this ui images user mail okay so let me go back here i'm going to say ui uh, images user underscore mail dot jpg something like this 
and let's refresh okay so ovazilla's image here uh let's give it a style we'll say width 100 pixels settings okay there we go so with um 100 pixels and then let's give it a height as well pixels there we go okay now it's way too small so I'm going to say 150 150 and then I'm going to give it uh, a margin of 10 pixels just so it's not right in the corner there mm -hmm. something like this okay so you can uh, style it as you wish this is just uh, to demonstrate uh, how things work actually um let's try 200 here i think uh, would look the best uh, yeah yeah something like this okay so these are the settings here so we can easily change the name the email and the gender and of course the passwords and then save settings but with uh, passwords i think passwords are a little bit uh, special because Oh, actually, no, it could actually work just like this. Password, password. Okay, so we're going to keep it basic. And here, instead of uh, password type, we're going to change this to text. But anyway, we can change this later so that you see why we're changing it once we get the actual data to put here. And then what I want us to do is that we can easily change the image right here by clicking the change button or we can simply click and drag an image into here and then it will be uploaded and updated okay so to aid with that i'm simply going to add a button uh, right here which will say change image or select image so i'm simply going to copy the input button here from uh, sign up and put it right under the image here now we are going to have a problem here because um, these things are contained inside a flex div here so which means each of these things will be forced to to be in a, uh, a separate column so to see that let me tab this in there to see that is if i refresh and do that you see that the button comes here instead of coming down here so to solve this problem, I simply need to put these two inside a single div so that only that div is flexed. So say div, and then I'm going to close that div like so. And uh, that should uh, sort it out. Very good. So instead of save settings here, I'm going to say uh, change image. Oops, change image mm -hmm. okay so change image will give us um, will open a dialog box where we can uh, load in a different image and see it loading right there okay so um, this is it and I might before we go let me just change the color here I'll just go into inspect element and click on background color here and uh, simply drag this around so that uh, we can get something else here mm. let's see here mm. anything but that what was there so let me do that uh, and this is the button right here sign up button okay uh, instead of uh, Okay, it will need an ID. So what I will do is simply say, instead of sign up button, I'm going to say change underscore image underscore button. So just keep in mind that uh, IDs of items sh should and uh, should always be unique. So here, what I will do is put the style here or 
instead of doing all that, I can simply add a style right here. I say style. When I say uh, background color, let's move over and paste that color that I got from there. And let's refresh the page, load, and there we go. So we have that button, we have that one. So save settings, we'll save everything. But change image, we'll change the image right there. Okay, so, so far so good. If I click on contacts, I get my contacts. Chat, I get something else. And settings, I get that. Okay, so everything looks awesome. And I will see you in a next video where we actually put some functionality onto these settings right here.